name's Jennifer. Oh, here. Let me move this so you can sit down. Whew, glad I made my bed today. <gasps> I was just about to begin saying my morning prayers. Would you like to join me? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Oh, but first, let me give you a tour of my room. Now, these are some of my favorite friends who love Jesus. They're called saints. This is John the Baptist. John baptized people. Have you ever seen a baptism? Yeah. It's when all your sins are washed away and you're welcomed into the church's family. Oh, I love to watch babies getting baptized. Grown-ups, too. Oh, and here's John's mother, St. Elizabeth. Now, St. Elizabeth was Mary's cousin. Whew, what a family. <laughs> One day, Elizabeth saw Mary coming to visit her, and she said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. She was so excited because she knew that Mary was going to be the mother of Jesus. Mary has many names. Our Blessed Mother, the Queen of Peace, Immaculate Mary. Saint Mary. Yes, that's right. And the Mother of God. And she's our Mother in Heaven, too. So all of the saints are our brothers and sisters, and we're all one big happy family. Oh, here's some more. St. Bernadette, St. Patrick, and St. Francis of Assisi. There's so many people I want you to meet, but we'll get to see them later on in action. Oh, look! Who's that? A, a priest. priest. Yes, that's right. It's a priest. That's Father Raymond. Shh. He's celebrating Mass. That's a really good way to pray. We'll go visit Father Raymond after Mass. Did you see Father Raymond make the sign of the cross? Yes. Do you know how to make the sign of the cross? Uh-huh. Let's try it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This is the best way to get God's attention. Even better than dialing him long distance. And you never get a busy signal. <sighs> you know, when I first wake up, I can barely open my eyes. So you know what I do? What? <laughs> I sing out loud to God. Oh, rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Children of the Lord. Hey, I need you to help me. I can't hear you. Um, do you have any musical instruments like a cymbal or, or drums? Hmm? How about a wooden spoon or pots and pans? I need you to sing really loud. St. Augustine says, when you sing, you pray two times. And the Pope says, when children sing, they pray three times. So sing out! Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Children of the Lord. And here's another fun prayer. The words are from the Bible. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. You sons of men, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Well, I'm wide awake now, but something's bothering me. I, I did something bad yesterday. I better go talk to my friend, Dean. <laughs> oh, there he is at church. Hi, Dean. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> How are you today? Excellent. Oh, dear. I haven't been excellent at all. I said something mean to you yesterday, Dean, and I, I'm really sorry. Well, I forgive you, but do you know you hurt God, too? 
Let me sing for you the penitential rite from the Mass, and while I sing, you can pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. And I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Now don't forget to go to a priest for the Sacrament of Reconciliation as soon as possible. Okay? Well, Bye. I will. Bye, Dean. A priest. Like Father Raymond. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, kids. Hi. Father Raymond, would you teach us how to pray in church? Oh, as soon as you come in and you make the genuflection, praise be to Jesus Christ. And oh, make sure you're, you're either looking or, or bowing your knee towards Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Otherwise, it just becomes words. Now, you mentioned the Blessed Sacrament, and we've been learning about prayers. Are the sacraments prayers? Oh, they're more than prayers. Um, they're actually receiving uh, God's Holy Spirit. Baptism, just think, we're, 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 we, be, we become another Christ. That's what the, the whole sacrament of baptism, you become a Christian. That means Christ's other self. It, it, it almost blows your mind, I tell you. Who's that behind you? Oh, St. Joseph. Oh, I tell you. Uh, next to Mary, nobody was as close to, to, uh, to Jesus as Joseph. I, I just feel that when Mary gave birth to the baby Jesus in that cave, she was all tired out, like any mo mother would be, just giving birth. And I can just see Joseph walking up and down, uh, carrying the baby in that, in that cave and, and, and cooing to him uh, to put him to sleep. Isn't that nice? Oh, yes. But, Father Raymond, sometimes we want to see Jesus right now. Oh, uh, children, uh, I, I think of it this way. You remember that time Jesus worked so hard, meaning he cured so many people, he was dead tired. And, you know, the mothers uh, came with their little children, and the apostles tried to push them away because Jesus really was, was human, and he was dead tired. But he said to the apostles, let the little children come unto me, for such of these is the kingdom of heaven. And I know that they got on his lap, and, you know, he had all white clothes uh, his mother made for him. And, and like all kids, they got dirty fingers. And, and yet uh, he, they were uh, touching him and holding him, like all kids will do. And, and our Lord blessed each one of them. Uh, it must have been something for those kids to feel the caress of the Son of God. Wow, to feel God's arms around you. And those kids uh, really did. They were the lucky ones. But you can too. Every time you pray, God's got his arm around you. Wow. Thank you, Father Raymond. See you later. See you, kids. You know, even when we try to live our lives in a way that pleases God, bad things can happen to us. Let me tell you a little story about Daniel. There was a boy named Daniel who really liked to pray. But then the king said a silly thing. Me alone you must obey. You shall not serve any other gods. So Daniel had to choose. Should he break God's law or serve the king? Either way, he was bound to lose. But Daniel chose to serve the Lord and not to honor earthly men. Well, the king was sad, but he took the lad and threw him in the lion's den. But God was so happy with Daniel's choice, he sent an angel to protect him. And the lions became like gentle lambs and didn't bite or touch him. And when the king looked in that scary den and saw that Daniel was all right, he made a decree that one and all should serve God with all their might. Whew. Amen. You know, God loves each one of us so much. And just like Daniel, he's chosen a special angel to guard us and protect us with every move we make. We have our very own guardian angel. You and, and you and even you. <laughs> hey, look, who's that? A dog. Yes, that's right. That's, that's my dog, Patty. Hi, Patty. <laughs> but we really do have our very own guardian angel. Isn't that neat? Yeah. I even named mine Abyssinia Rose. And you can name yours, too. Now, 
My mommy taught me this next prayer when I was very little. And her mommy taught her the prayer when she was very little. And it goes like this. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. You know, you can make up your own prayers, too, and each one will be special to God. I think I'll tell my little angel that I love her and ask her to help me to be really good today. Oh, my sweet angel, protector and friend, thank you for being so near. Keep me from harm and watch over me and all that I hold dear. Help me to do is pleasing to God and to love him with all of my heart. Oh, my sweet angel, be ever beside me and never from me depart. We have so many friends, both on earth and in heaven, who always whisper in Jesus' ears our deepest feelings and our prayers, like our friends, the saints. Oh, look, there's St. Francis. God told him, go and rebuild my church. Oh, careful, Francis. He's so funny. And he loved children and, and animals and everybody and everything. Oh, and there's St. Patrick. He was the patron saint of Ireland. You know, each saint has their own special prayer, too. Let's listen to St. Patrick's. Even in the cold of winter, Lord, may your spirit burn within me. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ at my right, Christ at my left, Christ near, Christ here. Madam, will you be so kind as to tell me who you are? Many little children have seen the Blessed Mother in visions. She always tells them to pray, and she's always very beautiful. Well, St. Bernadette saw Our Lady. <gasps> oh, did you see St. Bernadette make the sign of the cross? Uh-huh. Our Blessed Mother Mary is the greatest saint of all. She was Jesus' mother, and she promised to take care of us and protect us and love us as much as she loved her son, Jesus. I think I'll sing her a sweet song. And will you sing with me? Because she loves to hear her little children sing, okay? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of Thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary. the Angelus. I'm just beginning to learn this prayer. It's all about when an angel from heaven comes to visit Mary and tells her she's going to give birth to a baby boy named Jesus. So the Angelus is really a story. I know, 
I'll say the story part, and we can pray the Hail Marys together. Let's try it. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. This is my Bible. It's the most wonderful book in the whole wide world. You want to know why? Uh -huh. Because inside, it tells us all about God. And on every page, God says, I love you and you and you. Oh, and inside, there's lots of stories about Jesus and his friends and all the marvelous miracles he did while he lived here on Earth. And when we read it, our mommy and daddy reads it to us, we learn how to live our life in a way that pleases God. I read it every day. Right now, I'm reading Luke 10, 21. It says, at that moment, Jesus leaped for joy in the Holy Spirit, and he said, Oh, Father, I offer you praise because what you have hidden from the very, very smart people you have revealed to little children. Children? Well, that's you and me. Huh. So when we pray, we not only talk and sing to God, our Father, but we also listen. Let's listen to what God wants to say to us. Come, Holy Spirit. Your servants are listening. I think God is saying that he is our father and he wants us to praise him. I know, let's praise him with the same words Jesus used with his friends when they were learning to pray. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. to temptation but deliver us to pray all the time constantly but how can we do that I'll show you I'm going to pray right now could you hear me no you didn't hear me did you that's because I prayed inside me from my heart and I didn't even have to use my lips to speak now, you could do this too uh, you can tell God I love you or when you see a cute little bird, you can say inside you, oh, thank you, God, for that sweet little bird. Okay, now you try it. See, I didn't hear you. Mommy and Daddy didn't hear you. Only God can hear you. And maybe your sweet little angel. It's three o'clock. That's the very sad time when Jesus died. See, Jesus loves you and me so much, he took our sins and died for them on a cross so we wouldn't be punished. Can you imagine that? Suppose you did something very bad and your daddy said, that was very bad, but you did it anyway, so I'm going to have to punish you. You may not go outside and play with your friends today. But then your brother says, wait, dad, let me be punished instead. Can you imagine that? 
someone taking your place when it's time for you to be punished? How wonderful to think about that. Yet that's what Jesus did for you and me too. Every day at three o'clock, I think about that and I say a special prayer called Divine Mercy. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for my sins. That was the greatest sacrifice of love. Oh, do you know what a sacrifice is? Oh, I know it's a big word, but I think I can help you understand it in the song. Yesterday I visited my brother's empty room And only God was watching as I swept it with a broom Inside I was happy cause I knew that only love Could make me help my brother, which I have so many of that's a sacrifice, just a little sacrifice. Offer it to Jesus. Wouldn't it be nice if everybody in the world would try it once or twice? Then they'd see the power of a little sacrifice. Once I had to wake up during nap time in my house. I was really trying to be as quiet as a mouse. But then I accidentally hit my toy box with my toe. I really had to holler. Then I decided, no, that's a sacrifice. Just a little sacrifice. Offer it to Jesus. Wouldn't it be nice if everybody in the world would try it once or twice? They'd see the mighty power of a little sacrifice. Once when I was thinking about an extra piece of pie, a tiny little voice inside my head said, why not try to offer it for all the hungry people on the street? Cause then you both will really have a taste of something sweet. That's a sacrifice, just a little sacrifice. Offer it to Jesus, wouldn't it be nice if everybody in the world would try it once or twice? Then they'd know the power of a little sacrifice. See? We can say beautiful things to God, and we can do beautiful things for God, too. That's what a sacrifice is all about. Yes, Jesus died for our sins, for all the bad things we say or do, but no, he surely did not stay dead. How could Jesus stay dead? He's too wonderful, too beautiful, too perfect. Jesus rose up from the dead. Do you know what we call that day? Easter. Easter. That's right. We call that day Easter Sunday. And then Jesus ascended into the sky. And every day he's watching over us. And one day we'll get to see him face to face and give him the biggest hug ever. So that's why we sing and pray and talk and listen and sacrifice for Jesus now. So that when we get to heaven, Jesus can teach us new songs and new dances, and then we'll meet all the saints and we'll be one big happy family forever and ever. Alleluia, alleluia. <sighs> well, it's almost time to say goodbye. Hey, let's get a blessing from Father Raymond. I'm asking Almighty God to give you the same blessing that he allows the Pope to give to all of us. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon each one of you and keep you holy and happy all the days of your life. May you love God by loving each other. Bye, Father Raymond. I'll see you a little later. Well, it's time for me to go to church. Let's see. 
I have to go to the sacrament of reconciliation. I want to say the rosary. And of course, I have to say hi to Jesus in the blessed sacrament. So I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.